morning YouTube it's a wet Florida morning out here uh, just want to make a quick video on the on the belt drive pressure washer I recently got and uh, plumbed up let me go around here just to show what's going on so when I plumbed it up it has an unloader and a bypass I mean, eh, I mean it has a bypass in the unloader so which is good, which is gonna help cool the, keep the engine cool. And uh, I can let off the trigger more, uh, for more time. Right here, I got half inch, uh, half inch reinforced uh, tubing. Uh, so when the unloader, when, when I let off the trigger, the pump's still gonna be pumping water from this hose. And the water's just gonna shoot out of here, come down here, and back into the buffer tank. Um, and I also put a 90 degree for the wand because it was kind of weird. It was like a, at a 45 towards the tank when I mounted the pressure washer on here. And yeah, I also installed like this brand new, uh, this brand new uh, inlet hose that feeds the pressure washer. Uh, I was gonna use some three quarter inch hose right here. And theoretically, it'll supply enough water to my four gallon a minute pump. But I went on the safer side. I went to my local pressure washing store, shout out Ameritech, uh, out here in uh, Tampa, Florida. And they hooked me up with a banjo fitting and the, all these uh, connections and uh, this filter too. So right here, I got like one inch, uh, reinforced pipe and not reinforced pipe reinforced uh, clear tubing uh, this stuff's really heavy duty and stuff and it's really wide and also got this uh, big old filter over here to filter out all the stuff in here before it even gets to the pressure washer uh, yeah banjo fitting more fittings uh, I don't know what size the banjo fitting is but it comes out to the inside is one inch and then ball valve tubing filter more tubing and with this stuff you can like bend it all over and it's not going to kink whatsoever because of that because of that steel reinforced reinforced uh, i don't even know what it's called just, just basically the steel that goes around it makes it like not kink at all and right here on the pressure washer uh, i took off the three fourths garden hose uh connection and put a, a half inch to one inch, a half inch thread to one inch uh, hose barb. And yeah, they, they told me, yeah, it'd be safer to go to, with one inch and I'd have like zero problems with it if I go one inch, you know? Um, yeah, and also for the Hudson valve, I lowered it a bunch. Uh, you can see the little white tubing in there. Uh, here's the white tubing that goes to the Hudson valve and it should fill up to about right here. To about this second tube right here. Yeah, I don't need too much water. I mean, it is a four gallon a minute, but anything higher. Uh, I may see how, how much weight is on the trailer when I fill it up uh, all the way to where the Hudson flow valve is. And if not, I might lower it a little bit, maybe like halfway down here, just so I don't have too much weight on the trailer and I might break something, you know? I mean, this the axles are only rated for uh, 2,700 pounds, uh, plus the trailer itself is like 750. So I only have like 2,000 pounds of, uh, that I can have of cargo. And water, yeah, I'll just do the math later, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to see how much weight is on the trailer with this. Uh, tires do seem a little packed right now by all the stuff I have. So yeah, maybe uh, I will add a couple inches more down here just, uh, just, just to be on the safe side. All right, yeah, that's about it for right now. I'm about to go do a couple jobs with it right now. And uh, yeah, I'll see if I can take a quick uh, clip of it 
uh, on the job and everything. 